ride-hailing services have positively transformed the transport sector globally. Here in Ghana, the broke the monopoly taxis had, especially with chartered rides, the long waiting hours and discomfort that came with commercial transport services known as Trotro was done away with. However, these comfortable private rides come at a cost not many can necessarily afford. So, many have resorted to other means of paying off their rides. A new worrying trend some of these drivers say is some female passengers offering sexual favors as payment for their trips. Uh, I picked one lady, and so as we got to her destination, and you are supposed to pay for the ride, and you told me she doesn't have money. And so what she can do is I should just have sex with her for payment. And I told her, no, I can't do that. Kofi Taylor, not his real name, tells me there are times some of the ladies try to seduce them since they would not agree to exchange their affairs for sex. All part of the new trend, the clito coin business. Normally, someone will come and sit in front of you. They will try like dressing up and all those kind of things. I've even experienced something in which the person will have to change a whole clothes on me. And he asked me whether I'm interested in it. I said, oh, I'm worried. But. Bismarck, also not his real name, had a rather weird encounter with a lady who seized his phone and car key. But one thing is for sure, for these drivers, under the circumstances, lost sales. She was a very beautiful girl, we tapping around Lego. To my surprise, this girl just held my head, kissed me, then she moved my car key from the knob. She said I should have sex with her. The lady is very strong. Then I told her, okay, I'll do it. Chairman, to my surprise, this lady was holding it. She, she's a transgender. She has a, a penis. The pen was so big, dark. Oh, wow. I went over to get a phone and I told her I'm going to buy the condom. The Bible said we should flee from sin. But some of the drivers also entertain the female passengers in sexually explicit ways. So, it is a two-sided issue as some of the ladies request the drivers to convert the amount payable into what they term as clito coins, regardless of the location. We are addressing the issues by first and foremost giving them that safety precautions that they have to and then also to be disciplined because in this um, our industry if you are not disciplined then things like this becomes an influx and then it goes on and on and on we gather female drivers are also at the receiving end of these forms of harassment from male passengers but they were reluctant to share their experiences with us Dr. P. Stete, a lecturer at the Department of Sociology, University of Ghana, describes the trend as shocking. It is shocking, but it is not shocking. You call it but I would say it's a sex exchange. I wonder how a woman would have money in her purse and rather offer her body. If you want to engage in a butter or an exchange, you want to exchange value for value, isn't it? So if I'm buying something that is worth five CDs, I want to give five CDs for it. My question is, how much is a ride that will require me giving my body or offering sex to get a ride? She attributes females offering such sexual favors to harsh economic conditions. Women's economic empowerment is key. The reason why a lot of people succumb to these other options is because they don't have the economic wherewithal. It's a survival strategy. But it's a survival strategy with a lot of risk. And we also have to think of how this practice further victimizes women. Other drivers who were yet to experience the clito coin business said they were prepared to resist the offers and insist on cash payment from their riders. You have to ask yourself, why would a lady request for a car without not having money? Maybe have some efficient trying to distribute to others. For me, I will not allow myself to be used. 
But would some members of the public ever want to exchange any service they provided for sex? Sex doesn't, doesn't buy for. I'll, I'll ask for my money back. So, assuming in a day, I try to maybe get about 10 clients. Maybe if all the 10 clients are maybe to, to be ladies, then who, 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 who will be losing? Some of the drivers accept the sexual offers, others reject them. But it all depends on their individual orientations and socializations. I am Christian Yali for TV3 News, Accra.